Hello everyone, my name is Joseph. I'm an artist and the least motivated college student you've probably ever seen. I spent hours making this instead of doing work, which is pretty normal for me. So I just wanna know, do you guys like to ride your bicycle a lot? I mean, I used to, but I don't know what happened. It just kind of became less fun slowly and slowly. I could probably tell you why, but let's just focus on building the bike now. So first of all, I'm just going to go in and slowly build out the frame. You want to do as many layers as possible. I like to go in a zigzag direction. Some people like to go straight up and down. I personally think zigzag is a lot cooler, but whatever works for you works for you. In Germany, my siblings and I used to ride bikes all the time. It was one of our favorite things to do. We could basically go wherever we wanted, whenever we wanted, and it just provided us with a lot of independence and freedom as kids, and I feel like all kids should get to experience that joy. When I moved to Colorado, I would just use my bike to get wherever I wanted because I lived on a military base, and if you've ever lived on one, you know you can, you can ride pretty much anywhere. It's so cool. Like It's like a little town. They have grocery stores, shopping malls. Anything you can really think of getting outside, you can probably find it right on base, which was always convenient and really cool for me because I could visit my friends whenever I wanted, they could come visit me, I could go to the park, I could go wherever I wanted basically, it was so fun. During this time of my life, I lived with my mom, my dad was in Ghana, take, I'm not even sure what he was doing, like if you ask everyone, it's a different story every time, so we're not going to get into that, but it was like all this time when we'd become so independent and so free he never got to see that so i guess in his head he never understood that we were becoming different people as he was spending a lot of time away from us and i think this really affected him in ways that i'm not sure he's sure how to talk about or even plans on discussing with us you know you know that ego thing where dads do where it's like oh i have never done a bad thing ever in my life so then many years go by, I want to say like three or four, maybe even five, my head hurts. I don't really want to think about how long ago that was. At this time, we've moved to Kenya and I'm like a lot older. Like, I, well, I was either in like the end of middle school or high school. So like, as you can see, like that's a long time for someone to not experience you growing up. And it just really changed the dynamic in the family our first time seeing him in a few years and we're visiting him over summer break and we decide to ride our bikes because my brothers and I found a couple in the back that nobody was really riding and we were like you know what let's do it like this seems fun there's literally nothing to do at my dad's house which sucked so we were like let's go ride bikes you know it's a good time to just relax and like take our mind off of everything going on and the first couple of times he was okay with it like we would just ride around town the town we were in wasn't even that big like a lot of cars didn't really pass through there it was mostly foot traffic and like the area we were in was pretty much completely undeveloped so it was just like either construction or random people walking back and forth so we thought it was safe he'd been there before so he knew it was safe and we thought it was chill like we were just trying to have fun ride our bikes mind our business hi everyone i have a really important announcement to make so i wore a tie a lot of you guys have been like joseph you make a new piece of artwork every single day where does all this stuff go let me answer that question this box lego joseph the body only flag sneaker i'm gonna give all of this away and how you can win some of my artwork is if you become a patron on my Patreon, I give away a free piece of artwork a month just because I have so much of it. I don't know what to do with it. Like I'm losing my mind. So if I wanna give it to a good home, to one of you, you guys who will actually take care of it and love it. And as a patron, patron, pat patron, you get exclusive voting rights. So you get to pick whatever I do in my videos. You get access to our Discord. So we can talk all about whatever we want all day. If you have a random thought, a random video idea you want to see me make, you can put it in there. But also, you get priority for video requests. So I always ask you guys, oh, what do you want me to make a video about? If you're a patron, your request is priority. So if you want to become a Patreon patron, if you want to support me, you know what to do. There's no one really disturbed us. We didn't disturb anyone else. And it was a lot of fun.
But then one day we decide to go ride our bikes as we usually do every single day and he has a problem with it. He's very upset with us. He's like, don't go out there. You can't do that. And of course us being trapped in the house with absolutely nothing else to do, we were upset by this. We were like, what do you want us to do? Like we were trying to get some exercise. It's really sunny in Ghana. So we wanted some fresh air and we just liked being out. And he just didn't understand the fact that we were perfectly safe and there was really nothing to worry about. And the entire time he kept reiterating how unsafe it was. But the fact of the matter is we have, re re we rode our bikes on much busier streets in Kenya, in Germany, wherever. We've, we know road safety, we know bike safety, and it really wasn't a concern for us. So we spent hours sitting inside just complaining about how unfair this was, how bored we were, and how there was literally nothing else to do besides sit around and just be engulfed in your own thoughts, which is not fun if you've ever had to do that. Or if you're doing that now, please just get up, go take a walk, go get some sunshine because it's really one of the darkest places to be and I didn't want to be there anymore. So now I'm at the point where I'm upset, I'm annoyed, and I'm just thinking, what is making him so anal about this? Like, why is he so frustrated that we just want to ride bikes? Like, that's something kids do all the time. It's fairly safe. We're in a pretty, like, empty area. Like, what is the big deal? Why doesn't he trust us to just go out and ride bikes? And as I started thinking about it more, then I realized we had not seen him in years. I want to say three or four years is, like, the most is like what I can think of right now. I'm pretty sure it was like more five or six. Like it was leaning. It was, it had been that long. So all those years of learning and growing and experiencing things he had never seen before. He had no clue where we ride in our bikes to. He had no clue what we've experienced. We had, he had no clue how much we've grown in those years that he wasn't there. And that fact really affected his decision making because he didn't realize what he could and couldn't trust us with. He didn't realize who we were versus who we are now. He didn't realize how much growth we'd made as people and how much he could really trust us. And that's really sad to think about because physically we were different people, right? We'd gotten taller, we had different hair, we looked different. We might've even talked differently than the last time he saw us but physically but mentally he couldn't process like that like there was a gap between who we were and who we are now that he just never experienced so in his head we were still the kids that he left five years ago but that's just not true and our experiences had guide guided us to become such different people than the last time when he saw us so while I could be upset and could feel jaded that he didn't trust me or he didn't realize how much I had grown or how smart and capable I was, I've decided that the better course of action is to realize that while you might be growing and changing and experiencing new things and becoming a different person from day to day, not everyone's there and that's okay. Not everyone has grown and changed and is learning and even attempting to become a, a better person and that's okay it's not your job to really convince them that you're smart or capable or that you deserve to be treated with respect and kindness sometimes you just gotta let it go like <laughs> seriously like it's really not your problem anymore because as long as you know you can ride a bike you can go wherever you want and that's what matters it's not about how far people think you can go it's about how far you know you can go so just keep riding your bike. Really no one else's business.